That didn't work very well. Right, greetings everybody. Multi Retro Man here. Now, if you're not sure about what emulation is, you know, um, a quick guide to emulation, hence my book. You may have seen my previous video saying I've, uh, I'm, I'm in the process of doing it, but it's actually pretty much 99.9% finished. Because I've just got to quickly just quickly reread it and make sure there's nothing that doesn't make sense or anything that I think may need changing, so maybe not worded it properly or whatever. But it basically explains all about emulation and what it is. So if you've got, like, say, you want the old computers that you used to use, like, say, your ZX Spectrum, your Commodore 64s, or your... Um, your games consoles like your Sync, uh, say Sinclair then, um, like your Sega Master Systems, your Mega Drives, your Super Nintendos, uh, your Sony PlayStation, that type of thing. If you want to be able to play the games on those kind of syst on the actual systems, but using your laptop or your mobile phone, my guide shows you how to do it. Not only that, but it also includes fruit machine emulators because I didn't, you know, I, I got into that quite a while ago basically wanting to learn out how to use a fruit machine or how to play them you know to play them properly like certain games like the one, the first one i remember trivial pursuit i didn't quite really know what i was doing on it um and then i found the emulator and somebody uploaded the roms with a, a dx version which basically means it's like the image of the compute the, the machine it wasn't a very good image because it was low resolution but it still worked and did what it did and I managed to play the game and I realised that when you started getting the game feature that you, the idea was, it was like on a circle thing and you, the idea was to get all the way around to the other side to then be able to go to the top bit for the features because you've got like, you know, these like little bars that keep going like on every, basically what they call wedges, you know, on Dribble Pursuits, the had wedges. Now different coloured wedges, if you landed on a certain one, you could collect that wedge and then you had a chance of winning something. There was about four or five different segments within the wedge. Um, the earlier ones they were like you know lose game over or whatever plus some other mini games or whatever it was or money I'm not quite, quite remember um, but that's what it does with the fruit machines now you've also got arcade machine games um, things like you know the original Pac-Man the original Space Invaders uh, Galaxians that type of thing but also the newer games some newer games like Out, well, Outrun um You've got your yeah, sort of Metal Slug ones. There's all the Metal Slug games, everything else. Um, and that's all done by another emulator as well. So it, it just shows you in these in, you know, pictures as well, which will run, I'll randomly pop up on here, um, showing you what, you know, with sort of screenshots of what's what. Um, so there's like the titles of it. Um, there's basically like an, in, obviously there's an index with it. You know, and it will be updated with updated features if I think it needs an update. At the moment, it's 104 pages. It was just going to be originally 100, but I realised that part of the, I think part of the thing I wanted to actually have a bit of as an as an add-on was, um, a bit of a compilation of my worst games that I've played. You know, so for you to try to see how bad you think it is, because there were certain games, which I'll obviously not name them at the moment because I, you know, like to read the book, um, but some of the games were really bad. You know, they were they, so, they were unplayable, and one of them. It was on the old Spectrum game, and it had a very, very poor review in a magazine. And I never bought the game, but then I managed to get a copy of it, uh, downloaded it from the World of Spectrum website, and just for evaluation purposes. And eesh, it was terrible. Let's just say that that game will never be played again. It's awful, absolutely awful. I mean, I know the Spectrum when you know compared to newer computers and consoles. It's not a very good system, but at the time it was fantastic. It was a really good machine. You got your Commodore 64 as well, and your Amstrad. And without making the book sound boring, what I did was I've kind of given some details about the machine, but not gone into too many technical details because, you know, you don't really need to know exactly how much, what kind of processor it was, that type of thing. That's not what I aimed it for. I aimed it for the kind of the beginners, if you like, a beginner's guide kind of thing of termulation. Um, explaining what emulation actually is and how you can do it and use things on your you know on your computer or your, your phone or whatever or your laptop certain emulators that used to be good aren't so good anymore and i explain why i also give an alternative emulator which i use and i find really good 
Um, so that type of thing, you know, it's quite useful. So if you're thinking you've got, like, say, for example, the old PC engines, um, I don't know if you remember them ones, but they were they were released in the UK, but I don't think there was many sold. I think it was more of an import. But the, the console itself was a very nice console, very small, um, and they had one in a, a place called Just Micro where I used to go to when I was younger on Carver Street in Sheffield. And uh, it, the, the only issue with that was it... it I think it from from memory. I think it was something like it that the machine outputted in NTSC format, and the obviously we our TVs were PAL, so the, there was a slight discrepancy between the two, and it didn't show the colours correctly. Um, so you could buy a converter, but I think the converter was about maybe twenty thirty pound or something like that. I'll put that in the book as well anyway, giving some details on that. Um, so basically, there's also bits about any sort of some merch that I've done, any mugs t-shirts hoodies that type of thing um and one of the t-shirts that i quite really liked was this one because what really bugged me um not, not well you know it's not an obsession type of thing but it just annoyed me the fact that all the other things that were released that's obviously you know when you spell the word color in the uk we have a u in it but in most of other countries like you know america that type of thing they don't have the u in it which is fine no problem that that's what they you know that's how they spell it. You know, we have different Americans and us have different words for various things, you know. Um, like for like cars, they have like, but they say hoods and we say bonnets, that type of thing. You know, and they, they call it a sidewalk and we call it a pavement. Personally, I think sidewalk sounds more realistic for what it is. But, hey, hey that's by the by. But what happened was when the Game Boy Colour was released in the UK, um they decided to keep the name colour without the U in it. So I did a that T-shirt, this that T-shirt there, um, as a kind of a UK version of the console, if you like, you know, as if to say, look, this is how it should really be spelled in the UK. Not being nasty or anything like that, but just to say. So if you like it, there's also the link in there um, on the book as well, if you'd like to purchase it. Um, what else can I say about it? Well, it's basically, it took me quite a few a few weeks to do it, you know, here and there, you know, spending nights and, you know, quite a few hours put into it. Um, and I learned a couple of things as well. And the, the main things are, he's got two interviews as well from games creators in the past, but also doing still doing stuff today. Um, one of the guys, um, let's just say, he created a game that create, that was at, featured a mole. You may... You may um, know what I'm talking about he very very kindly did the answers to the questionnaire thing while he was on holiday so a big thumbs up for that one um, and the other guy um, I've, I've done several things with him over the past few months um, and I really endorse his games as well you know so that he, he's a great guy and he also gave me two exclusive images that he's going to be using that's not yet available but he said I can use them in my book so again thanks very much for that one and that title, the, the title of the thing was uh, Subtlety is over, uh, under, yeah, it's a cloud or something, something like that. Um, I really should have checked that before, and, but hey, uh, I'm just doing this off the, the cuff. Well, I'm not, I'm not a settee, obviously, it's not a, you know what I mean, that was my little joke there. Right, um, so basically, yeah, I, I'm sort of, thank you very much for everything they've done and his, and his help with all the things that he's done as well. Um, and we, between us, we both kind of do a, you know, we help each other out. Like I do certain things for designs for him. Like um, he's done a t he's had a t-shirt at um, this point on his Facebook that I well we designed together basically. Um, I kind of uploaded it to my uh, studio, uh, well to the t-shirt studio where it's created. So it's my own account. And then what happens is any any sales that were made from it, we we share the profits between us. You see. Um, so I recommend that you check them out as well because, like I say, it's not just me that benefits, but he benefits it as well. And you know, we're all. We've all got mortgages to pay. We've all got, um, you know, bills, electric, gas, that type of stuff. Um, so anything that you could contribute or, you know, purchase anything will be really, really appreciated. Um, and like I said, there's already been these reviews here about my book, which is really great. You know, I'll give it a five stars. And I thought, well, I'd, I want people to be honest about the reviews. And having these so far four five star reviews is fantastic because, you know, it means a lot to me. Just by, yeah. And, and that guy here, he's actually left a review, which I'm you know really pleased about. And I met him uh, through a YouTube uh, streaming thing with, um, well, I'm not, I'm not name the name, but let's just think he's called Roger Knowles. And he's a really good bloke. 
he, he's, he's real professional. Well, I said professional. He's professional that he, he kind of does things, but he's really, he's funny. He's really good. That when he makes mistakes, you know, he's, he's not one of these that's always perfect every single time. There's always going to be something that may go wrong or whatever it be, whether he presses a thing, whether something falls down or what, you know. But he's a brilliant guy and he, he's, he's, he's really good and it's really enjoyable. It's great to get involved um, with these things, you know. Um, and the guy who did the review for me, um, like I said, we met on the thing on uh, on YouTube. Um, and that's how we got talking, really, because I like Pet Shop Boys. My wife likes Pet Shop Boys. We follow them. Well, we've loved, like, loved them from when they first started back in eighty, well, maybe the early 80s, you know. Um, so that that kind of thought, oh, okay, fair enough. So then we got talk, I got to talk to other people on there as well, like we do. Um, anyhow, that's going slightly off top, topic anyway. But like I say, what we'll say is thanks very much for watching this video. Um, um, check out my other videos for other things regarding any updates or any fixes for things like you know Samsung phones, any problems you've had, and I will hopefully you know fix them for you if you've got any issues. Even some cars, I've done some things you know like um, my old twin top. My twin top has got a you have, to have one of the, the the pipes that split in the back. I did a video on how, to, how I fixed that. I tried to do several repairs on it, but it didn't work. Um, so what can I say? Like I said, once again, thanks very much for watching this video. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. And thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hello. I've just had a thought. I might have a bit of a preview for my next book. I've been thinking about what I could do next. Poems. I've loved doing poems for ages. I think I could be the male equivalent of Pan Air's. Could that be very true? Well, that's really up to you. And I've just made that one off, you know, off top of my head. So let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to see um, a poem, you know, a book about, it's going to be like loads and loads and loads of different poems that I can just do off top of my head. Uh, various things, you know, like um, card poems, that type of stuff. So let me know in the comments. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.